Mad Butters here with a new series of Mad Butters in Star Citizen for the Trotters Independent Traders Org. That's our org in, that, in the game as a clown thing. And because free 17.2 is finally landed, I want to start a new uh, whole thing about it. Well, and then I'll keep progressing over time with like my my methods, like I did with my Elite Dangerous videos, um, like the Mad Butters method and all this lot. Um, but in Star Citizen. As well as some other gameplay, because we've already just started the new series of our uh, farming simulation thing. <laughs> Let's go a year of farming. See how long we break when we, while we're doing that. Anyway, so this little mini video is just showcasing what I found out, because now the Argo Mall finally works, <laughs> and I can actually scoop up. Um, basically, I went to go and do some mining and noticed a few little things have changed. So this is just me helping others, if you if you will, if you like to, you know. Take it on board and go from there. And uh, glad to see it's working so far. Touch of wood. Uh, there'll be different videos for all sorts of stuff, um, cinematics and other action things. We'll all get up to me and my org or me on my own. So uh, we will see what happens. So uh, I said, sit back. This is a just a short video on just mining and my way of doing it. Uh, what my you know, bit of advice. You don't have to follow it. It's just an idea. Now I thought mining was destroyed when I first started the new 317.2 patch. It turns out you just got to fly away from the station a lot further and eventually things will appear. Which has turned out great because I've got some bow rays here with lots of diamond. And that the Argo Mole can now collect again. Well, I hope. Now, collecting bow rays is probably your best bet, regardless of the inner. Once you've uh, literally refined the bow rays and stored it on the weather ship, it's worth a lot of money. And if you get diamond, gold, find it, sell it, mate. It, it will all add up. But bow rays will do you quite well, especially in this area. You'll find bow rays most of the time in an asteroid field of some sort. Now, if you can avoid any inner, just do it. Especially if it's 100% in it, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. You just need to grab onto the 78% or almost 79% of in it on here, but so be it. But once the bow raises are refined from that, and because the Argo Mole holds has a bigger capacity, I'm really glad gold. Every bit of bow raise is good. Well, this should boost up the uh, bow rays and the uh, diamond quite well, and there's no inner in it, so pure, pure goodness.
Nicely done. Right. Okay, we've done that part. Right, we're going to check that other little area. I well, what pinged up? This mining used to be where you ping out and you could mine right next to the station, near enough. Now, seems quite minimal um, in these asteroid fields at the moment. What have we got on here? Anything good? Vexalite? Well, I did not expect that. But unless that's changed. Vexalite is a godsend if you can break the rock, that is. And no matter how much of Bexalite you get, you can make a nice bit of money out of that. If you can manage to keep it refined well. Well, yeah, that's a lot of Bexalite. Can we break the asteroid? No, oh, it's going up there, so it should just about work. Be my ranger bastard. Well, we don't need to worry about the corundum. We don't want the corundum. Not worth it. I need to collect the best stuff now, since I'm half, half kind of reasonably full. <laughs> well, actually, I'm well over halfway of being full, so. very rare that I found Bexalite in space so weird I've never had that before unless they're changing things up again oh, that's got 100% on it that's good Exolite is a godsend. I'll we'll take the diamond and corundum from that. Don't want the corundum bits of diamonds quite a lot, and I've got a fair, fair bit of diamond on here. No, don't do that yet. Let's try and get the rest of the uh, Bexalite first. That's quite a fair bit, isn't it? All that low end stuff will eventually be worth something in the future. Open sesame. Now I'll try and find a station from here. Ooh, don't go forward yet, Buzz. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, look how far away we are.
slide it down there just to get it in. Okay, down. Wow. Yeah, look at that. The details need to go down before I get into the uh, hangar. Oh, that was uh, we're building it. <laughs> that was a bit lucky, wasn't it? Though this hangar is a bit smaller than I think it is. Yeah, I'm crissing the wall. It got in far too. <laughs> you can tell I've not been in this wagon with this. <laughs> Right, boys and girls, you just stand around doing nothing. Get to bloody work! Am I the only one with a processing order? <laughs> have a look. Hi, good to have you back. I've got one that's already complete. See anything you like? I think there's not a lot in it, so we will put you on. What do you see? What is on there? Gold. I'll just show on the um. I think what I'm going to do this time, I don't normally do it, I'm just going to constantly keep putting everything on to the uh, B2, I think. Uh, set up work order. We've got gold, random, diamond, pro rays, flexolite. Now, yes, it costs 25. Oh, that's a good point. Am I going to get that back in return? Because I've not actually mined that stuff here before. What's the high speed, high cost, moderate yield? Get quote. Jesus. Yep, you know, got it. It's gonna cost a fair bit, but it might keep if you can keep the uh, most stuff amount out of it. I should be able to cover that and still have a, a turnover. Plus, that might make money back from all the other crap I'll uh, I'll mine eventually. I'm going to confirm that. Void. Now, in theory, if you couldn't do that, you're going to want to go for one of the lower ends, as long as you can get a moderate yield. And you'll just have to, like, do double trips. Can we get a fire marshal down to decom? Someone from accounts, please contact management. Accounts, contact management. Alright, so if I wanted to save that one, you just press 8 or hold 8 down. 